Welcome back. You are watching Holy Shift. I am Sandy. And as you can see, I'm wearing my new Bell Rogue helmet. Why not do a little review and tell you and give you some of my impressions of this helmet? I just bought it a few months ago. So before we even start, I'd like to ask you to go ahead to my channel and click that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. That's how you get a notification every time I put a new video. As you can see, my new Bell Rogue. Crazy looking. And one of you guys put a note down in the comments asking for a review. So I said, why not? This helmet I decided to buy after I got one of the comments uh, after putting out the video of cool versus safe. And saying, hey Sandy, you're somewhat of a hypocrite. You're, you're lecturing us about riding safe, yet you're wearing a beanie, a half helmet. And I said, you got a point there. So I was looking into getting a helmet that will give me a little bit more coverage. And I came across this amazing helmet. It's a half helmet with uh, another additional, uh, I would say another quarter over here. So it's pretty much a three quarters helmet, although this is not as hard as this fiberglass with Kevlar, but it is DOT approved, as you can see. The fitment is uh, oval. I usually wear a, sh a full face, a showy RF 1200, and this fits me really nice. It's nice and light and actually very comfortable, but overall, I'm really enjoying uh, this helmet. As you can see, three quarters, and it gives you the feel of an open face. Additionally, there's this silly, cool uh, looking muzzle. Now this is made of some kind of a, a polymer, strong enough for uh, rock, road debris, dust, and bugs, but I do not think it will actually hold or protect you if you hit the pavement. What's nice about it, it's got a very uh, unique clip-on feature, but pretty much is just finding where it is and it magnetically clicks on. There, one side, then the other. And there you go, there you have it. And you can wear it just like this. You can wear it without the muzzle. muzzle the muzzle comes off by sliding it all the way up and it just comes off. There's also a winter uh, edition, which is good actually in Corona time to add. And this actually gives you more protection from the cold temperature and it just goes in. And this is good in cold temperatures. There you go. Overall, I think this helmet is pretty cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. This helmet comes in all sizes, so it pretty much can fit any size. I am a medium. I usually wear a medium and it fits me just right. I got a medium and that's the size. It comes in, in of actually cool, cool colors. There are a few nice designs that I've seen. And believe it or not, the muzzle has a few different options. I'm actually searching for a nice skull featured muzzle. I'll show, try to see if I can find one and show on the video right now. The inside, as you can see, is totally removable. This whole thing is removable and can be washed. Additionally, there are pockets for a uh, audio system. It comes with a double D ring, strap, standard. It's got some nice venting in the back for nice airflow. The whole thing itself, the whole helmet itself looks really, really nicely built. As you can see, these clasps are ratcheted in. Once you get the right fit, you never move these. Putting it on or off with this uh, magnetic clasp, just put it closer. And that's it, it's in, it's going nowhere. The only way to get it out is sliding it up. 
Now, the main reason why I got this is uh, I was looking for a safer helmet than uh, the half helmet, the beanie one that I had with a little bit more protection, also for protection from my face. And I didn't want to go full face. I wanted still to be safe and cool. So I got this uh, helmet thinking it's got a nice aggressive look to it. I don't know, it reminds me somewhat of, uh, you know, Mad Max. This would be great with uh, with the Fat Bob or any other uh, bobber build. And it looks pretty cool, pretty aggressive. This goes, as you've seen, it goes well with the uh, riding glasses or with goggles. I think the price is somewhere around 249. It's a good quality and good built helmet. Two main things that I don't like about the helmet. First is initially the internal padding is somewhat rough. The material itself is rough. So every time I put it on my head, it, it says it's, it's scratching my, uh, my skin. But I think that's just a matter, that's just a matter of uh, my hairstyle. I mean, if you don't have my hairstyle, which is uh, also known as bald, if you actually have hair, it shouldn't be a problem. Just putting the helmet on, you won't feel anything. But actually, it's somewhat scratching me initially. Now it's much better. Second thing is these clasps. The original clasps that you get with the helmet are these. And they are actually too short. So when I put, when I initially put the, used these clasps, the muzzle was sitting too close to my face. And if you've got a big nose like mine, it might hit your face, might hit your nose. That's why I had to buy on Amazon uh, these, uh, I think they were $15 longer clasps. I had to buy on Amazon these longer clasps. And that way I'm able to get these mounts uh, and the whole muzzle to stick out a little, uh, a little further out and not hit my face. Otherwise, I'm really enjoying this helmet. Uh, I'll put links down by the description where you can actually pick up this helmet and also these extra clasps if you need that muzzle a little further out from your face. So that's it for now guys i am sandy you're watching holy shift hope you enjoyed this video until the next video peace out